When communists in Russia came to power in the beginning of the 20th century, they didn't have heroes, so they made up those. For children, there was a fictional boy Pavlik Morozov. Thousands of Soviet children knew about the heroism of Pavlik. Pavlik handed his wealthy father into the Soviet authorities. Due to the legend, other relatives later killed Nasty Boy. The 100 years tale should have been forgotten with disgrace, but not in Russia not in the USSR successor. Here are the latest internal domestic news from this weird wild country. The Moscow resident informed police that her not working son is hiding from serving in the army. A 26-year-old man had had startup which didn't work out. They started arguing with mother and now the mother told police that he didn't serve in the army and doesn't want to, just to get rid of him. In the Moscow region, a husband informed police that his wife is against the war in Ukraine, which they call a special military operation. In Russia it means that the wife may go to jail. Pupils all over the country started informing police about teachers with the no war position. In Astrakhan, pupils are snitching on their school math teacher. In Amur University, students did the same when professor told them that Russia waged a war against Ukraine. In Buryatia, the archery trainer stood against the school director who drew a Z letter in the backyard. Snitching on one another once again became a national sport as it was in USSR. People can rat out in schools, clubs at home, and especially Russians love to rat out their neighbors. One can be arrested even because of the garland in Ukrainian colors in his own apartment. And their so-called government loves that and pays for that. True successors of the communist regime. From 50,000 up to 10 million of rubles will be given by the minister of their wild internal affairs to those Russians who will snitch on the public enemies. Millions of public Smorozov went out hunting now, while their so-called authorities are trained to look mentally healthy and even sign some agreements abroad.